What's well, up guys, it's iOS Pro and today, Apple has released iOS 14, beta to, to all developers today, can about 700 megabytes on my iPhone SE second generation, on my iPhone 11 I installed it, bill number is 18A5319i, and there are a bunch of changes in this update. So the first one is on the clock app, so on the left is 14 beta 1 here, you see the clock app icon, I showed you in a previous video that the, I, they made the hands a bit longer. But now they made the hand shorter now and made them bolder as well. So you see a difference? I was 14 beta 1 on the left. I was 14 beta 2. You see the hands are much bolder now and bigger than they used to be. So really cool change there. I just want to make it easier for you guys to see a clock app icon. So really nice change there, Apple. Okay, guys, this next change is on the calendar app icon. you notice on 14 beta 1, we've had the same icon since iOS 7. But now on iOS 14 beta 2, they've redesigned the calendar app icon. So you see they made... The number of the months folder as here on beta 2 on the right and the day the day of the week name is now sh is now shorter and bolder as well so now you can see the d day of the week just like you can on your wrist so on apple watch they just put the initials of the day of the week just like i go over on apple watch here on the right but on, on the previous beta they didn't do that so really really cool change your apple makes it easier for you guys to see it oh really cool okay guys so this next change is in settings now when you scroll down to reminders here, you'll notice on iOS 14 beta 1 here, you'll see the today's set time indication when you click on it. You see it pops up menu down here like this. But now it's now like it now shows the new menu by default now. You no longer have to tap the time it's already set to for you to set it. So really cool. So it's all automatic now. So you can now set your time right here. Like easier. You don't you no longer have to do a first step just to get to the screen. So Apple's made it so you don't have to click the actual time today notification. They just made it easier. So now you can set your time right when you enter the settings for a reminder. So real cool change there. Okay guys, so this next one is also in the reminder settings here. You'll notice that previously, if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll have an option here called assign assignment notifications. But now that's been renamed to mute notifications. And the assign not reminders here is up here now. So really cool. So now instead of assigning it, you can now mute it. So it's now called mute notification, so you can now mute the assigned reminders. Previously, it did the same thing, but you couldn't tell it actually did. So, really, really cool change here, Apple. Makes it easier for you guys to know what the toggle does now. Okay, guys, so this next one is with folders. So, you'll notice that I was 14 beta 2 here. On the right, it's more compact, and they made the folder taller now. You see, on beta 1, we've had the same folder design since I was 7, but now they've, they've they, like, Com made it all compact and made it taller now. So basically everything moves closer together now, now. So really cool. You can see it's taller in more rectangular shape, more than a square shape. On beta 1 here, it was square shape. But now on beta 2, a folder is now taller and more rectangular. So really cool, Apple. Okay, guys, so this next one is in podcast. So previously down here, you had this icon layout right here. Since I was 12, with the library browse and search and listen now. But now on iOS 14 beta 2 here, you can see that the library and browse toggles have been switched. They switch places now. So the browse is now on the left where library used to be. And the library is now on the right where browse used to be. So basically switched places. So this one moved over here. This one moved over here on beta 2. So really cool icon changes there, Apple. Okay, guys. So this next one is in FaceTime. Sorry if I'm trying to cover up my info. So that's why I see that paper there. So if you look up here previously, the incoming calls and announced calls had no icons there. But now in beta 2, they've added new icons now. So you can see a difference. Beta 1 on the left, no icons for incoming calls and announced calls. And now Apple added brand new icons there. So really cool change, Apple. And I love the new icons, so really cool. Okay, guys, this next one is an accessibility. So when you go to accessibility, go down the side button in the home button down here. You'll notice down beta 1 here. They, the confirm switch control and assistive touch are at the top here, like combined with another section right here for press and hold to speak. But now in beta 2, they've been separated. So now the side button confirmation toggles have their own section now. So they're no longer with the press and hold to speak category. They've now been separated and they've added a new description here, just like when I was 13. So really cool change here, Apple. And much cleaner layout now. So really cool. Okay, guys, so this next one is in the phone app. You'll notice that the button here on iOS 14 beta 1 here is big, the little icon there. But now in beta 2, they made it smaller now. So see beta 1 on the left, beta 2 on the right. They made the icon on beta 2 smaller here. So right now it's a little tweak there. Apple, they're trying to make everything match with the OS sizes and everything. So really, really cool change there, Apple. Okay, guys, so this next one is in settings here. 
we go we go down into the sounds and haptics now on iOS 14. You'll notice on beta 1 here, the headphone audio settings were at the bottom here, underneath the change with buttons here. But now in beta 2, Apple's moved up to the top underneath the vibration section now. So the reduced lot of sounds is now at the top where you can find it easily instead of down here, where it's hard to find. So really, really cool change there, Apple. Okay guys, so this last feature is a note. This this last feature was also in beta 1, but I forgot to mention it, so I'm gonna mention it now. That if you click on the notes options up here, you'll notice that Apple has a new icon for like a folder icon for the manager notes section here. So like if you if you click up on the three dots and get to the settings page, you have a new icon for it now. So it's a folder icon for like managing all your notes really easily. Really cool and it has all the cool new options right here. So really cool change for Apple. Yep, and that's pretty much it for this video. If I did the video, give it a thumbs up. Peace.